So you, you played well last week. Uh, Flo said to us without even us asking, on Monday I'm happy with the move of Austin to guard. It's going well. Do you feel happy you moved there? Do you feel that's your best position? Um, you know, I'm happy to be on the field. Uh, you know, I've learned like a lot of things about left guard. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me was, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm happy to be playing left guard. Uh, I like to be on the field with my teammates and help them out. Um, I'm glad I can get better at it, you know, just learning a new position. You never really know how it's going to go, especially never playing it before. Um, so, you know, I'm just glad I got my foot in, my confidence, and I'm um, doing well, and I just look to keep getting better. Players who, who I know who have played the guard position over many years, they, um, they seem to be very aggressive, and it seems like you've taken to that. I've seen you be very aggressive. How, how would you describe the approach that you try to take at the guard position relative to aggressiveness? Uh, I think one of my better traits is that I'm very physical and strong at the point of attack. Um, I'm talking to my college coach from USC, actually, and he was telling me that you know, one of the things, especially a tackle, I've always been good at is point of attack, you know. So I think that translated over the guard. Um, it probably translates over to any position on the line, really. <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, playing both guard and tackle work hand in hand, you know. Playing guard helps me with some things, uh, playing at tackle, things like patience. Um, you know, there's a lot less space when you play guard. Um, so you have to be more confident in your point of attack. If somebody worked at an advertising agency and they said to him or her, we're taking you off this account, but we're giving you this account instead, the human reaction might be disappointment. So when you were told you're not going to play tackle at this point moving forward, we're moving you to guard, was there disappointment? Were you let down at all emotionally? Uh, nah, not really. I mean, it's just different, you know. Everybody handles change in their own ways, you know. At the end of the day, when I went from tackle to guard, I still had to play guard the next play in that game, you know, and I'm blocking Vita Via, Vita Vea. So it's like there's not really much time to sulk about or stuff. Um, uh, and, yeah, that's that. You know, I'm just happy to be on the field and still have an opportunity to play and compete and show what I can do and, you know, help my team try to try to win some games here, which we really want to do. I mean, we believe in each other. and. You know, as long as I get to be a part of that, I'm good. I've noticed that you've tried to show some positive energy and emotion in the last few weeks, you know what I'm saying? Every Did, week. Have, has that been a point of emphasis for you to, to, to show your emotions on the field? Nah, I mean, I show my emotions every week. Um, this guy, too. <laughs> but, um, you know, every week, you know. Honestly, there's a lot of things you guys don't see. If you go back, you'll still see the same type of emotion um, and passion for the game. Obviously, the season didn't start out how we wanted, you know, so kind of getting through that was a little bit of, of a learning experience, I would say, as a line anyways. So um, I would say that's every week, and that's just emphasis to keep getting better, and we all love to play. So. I always thought it was kind of fun when guard buries sort of an unsuspecting defensive player maybe later in the, in the development of the play. Mm -hmm. Are there actually more opportunities to like bury guys at the guard position than the tackle position? No. Okay. Well, there are some, but like, you know, think about this. At a tackle, I'm 310 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds. <laughs> uh, you know, blocking a guy that's 250 pounds versus playing guard, you're moving people that are like 330. 350 pounds, you know? So it's really just about your technique and, you know, being disciplined. You know, you can't just try to outmuscle a guy because they're big too, you know? They're strong too. So um, I say there's probably like equal opportunities for that stuff. Putting aside the playing time aspect that you addressed earlier, if you were to look back at how things went for you at tackle this season, and how things are going at guard now. Do you kind of take a step back and say, yeah, you know, that move, that really was the best thing for me? Um, that's like, I don't know, that's a loaded question. Um, I definitely think that, although I, you know, make some mistakes at tackle, I think I'm still a good, ta great tackle. Um, 
And I think that moving into play guard, I think seeing what I can do at guard is like, wow, I can really play guard too. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, the guys who make this, those decisions like Flo and Chris, like that's up to them. You know, uh, I know inside for me, my confidence level, I know I can play both and I can do both well, even though I did make some mistakes at tackle. And, you know, me moving to guard looks like, oh, he's a crappy tackle. But um, it's a ball. It's, it is what it is. We do what's best for the team. And decision makers thought this was best. And, you know, I'm with the team all the time. So. I mean, Tonto was a very good left guard as a rookie. I don't know if you know that. He was drafted as a tackle, but played guard and played it well. I'm just curious, have you ever looked at Tunsil guard film from that year or not? Uh, yeah. Flo actually told me about that, um, about that, him playing guard. Um, I haven't watched too much of that film from that year. Uh, there's not a whole lot in the archives, but there's guys like Zach Martin and Connor Williams, both the guards for the Cowboys. They both were tackles for a super long time. They're doing well at guard, being former tackles. Uh, there's a lot of people. It's kind of just part of the game. I've come to learn. Like a lot of a lot of tackles end up playing guard in this league. So <clears throat> whatever happens, happens. And yep. You mentioned the difference in size of players in the block. Two positions. Do you prefer that uh, more physical style of blocking when you're inside as opposed to the more open uh, speed rush guys uh, playing more physically? Uh, yeah. I think a tackle, you know, it doesn't feel as rewarding like getting a knockdown against someone who's smaller than you. It's like you're supposed to do that. But playing guard is definitely more rewarding when you're getting good movement inside. You know, that's where the business is at. So it's definitely more rewarding inside. Awesome. You said. You spoke with your coach from USC about uh, being strong at the point of attack. Was that recently, or was that when you left school? Uh, no, it was actually uh, I was catching up with my old uh, USC coach, Coach Drev, Coach Drev now. Um, you know, just how you doing? You know, we checking in with each other like that. It's kind of how like my school was. So he's checking in with me, and we just talked about the switch, and you know, he just had some good advice, good words for me. So. Guess in luck with you though. He said that you weren't. Strong enough at the point of attack at tackle? Nah, you completely misread that. Nah. Yeah, he said, he said, I, I can see you playing guard because you've always been very strong at the point of attack, you know? So it wasn't like you're not strong enough. If I wasn't strong enough at tackle, they definitely wouldn't be moving me to guard, you know? So, yeah. That's why we're here to ask the questions. Oh, no, yeah, you good, you good, you good. I just want to see no clickbait, nothing, you know? <laughs>